Hello and welcome. So today we're looking at the latest Theory 11 deck which is the Lord of the Rings. This deck's based on the movies, not so much the books. So the characters will be looking a lot more like the movie characters that we've seen. The other deck available at the moment is the King's World Project version. That is more based on the books from what I understand. We'll be getting that soon. I'm just waiting for it to come through from uh, my pledge from Kickstarter. But I back the Gilded Edition which has some delays I believe. So I'm just waiting for that. So the tuck box on here is full of amazing details. Um, I've tried to look it up through Theory 11 but they don't tend to give away a lot of information. So the front of the tuck box, in right in the middle, We've got the Doors of Durin with Gandalf here and I think that's the, the head of the Balrog and he has that iconic scene where he he's a, um, where he has that scene where he's on the bridge and he says that he shall not pass and the bridge breaks and I think if I remember right that fight scene goes between the end of one movie and into the start of the next movie. So also, on the front, we've got these nine symbols. I think these are supposed to be the Fellowship. So from, from what I'm going to guess, start from the top, we've got Aragorn, Gandalf, Boromir, then... Gimli and Legolas and then the four at the bottom are going to be the Hobbits now I think Sam had a little potion bottle can't really make out what this is supposed to be over here but Pippin, Merry and Frodo will be the other three I'm, I'm pretty sure of that and then just above the door it says say friend and enter which is the, the translation that they come on to from Elvish uh, sorry, from the dwarf, dwarf language, and then it's very hard to see, but in the gilding, we can see characters' faces. So over here, I think we've got Frodo and Golem, and then possibly Saruman. Can't make out this might be Treebeard over here, and then the side of the tox got. Isildur and Elendil, which are the two giant stone statues as they go up the river. And the other side of the tuck is even more detail. So I've turned upside down, I've got uh, a great eagle over here and a Nazgul. And just says the eagles are coming or the Nazgul are coming there. And then we've got the two towers down the side which I believe are Barad-dûr and Orthanc and then the ring in the middle with the Eye of Sauron and there's also these five different locations here without re-watching the movies I think I'm going to struggle to find out what these are but they are very, it will be relevant to different locations. I mean, this could be the Dwarven Mines, uh, Rivendell, the Elves will be on here, and I'm sure the Shire. This might be the Shire here, actually, with the looks like a front door. So the top of the box just says the Lord of the Rings, and then we've got this little seal with the eye on. And then just inside of the top, which is going to be really difficult to see in the, the gilding, is Frodo and Bilbo's home. And in the bottom it just says, no admittance except for party business. Just at the bottom there. So the inside of the tuck is also gilded with this tree and vine pattern. And that goes the whole way through the box. Which is really pretty. It's all embossed as well. So the back of the cards is exactly the same as the back of the tuck. It appears to be a sort of metallic ink 
it's a uh, it's a green and gold that they've used. Looks really good. Feels nice as well. So the cards. We've got the Fellowship of the Ring on the one joker. And the other joker, the Armies of Mordor. Got to say, that's just a really nice way of doing it. It's got all the characters straight away. Artwork's nice. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's really good. So the cards, again, it's this metallic ink we've got here. So we've got... So the Ace of Spades, I think it's Gandalf at minus Tirith. Hard to see because of the gilded ink. The... Spades, pips a really nice detail. There's a little, there's a little symbol in the middle there. Can't really make it out. The font's nice on it. Cards feel really good. It's a really clean design. Very nice. By the time you get to a ten of spades, it's a very full card. I think it does still really look really good. So the suit card, the face cards. I think that one is Pippin. It's got an apple and a dagger. This queen is the elf Arwen. And the king is Aragorn. So the diamonds, I think that's Rivendell. And again, the gilded ink makes this look like the metallic sort of ink. Makes this look really nice in the diamonds. So the face cards for diamonds, we've got Merry, Eowyn, and Elendil. And then the clubs, we've got what I think is Legolas. Galadriel and I'm going to go with Frodo for that one and again the club design is really nice so the Acer clubs says three for the elves so there's three locations here so what I might do at the end is I'll have a quick look see if I can figure out where these are because these three are also on the tuck box. So I'll have a look into that. So the, the face cards for the hearts, we've got Gimli, Dwarf, the Rivendell Elf, which I can't find the name of, and Sam. And then the Ace of Hearts is the Shire, Bilbo's house again. And at the end, we've got two more gaff cards with just a few more characters on. So they are different characters to the Jokers. So it's just bringing your full character counter up there. So at the end, looking at them, the cards are good, the quality feels nice, the designs are really, really nice. I like the metallic ink, it's hard for the camera to deal with with the lighting, but it works really well in person when you can see them. The characters they've used, the only thing I will say is they're all good characters, none of these are villains or monsters or evil sorcerers or anything like that uh, and I understand with the Lord of the Rings there's, there's a lot of characters they could have picked from so this just makes me wonder if we're going to see another deck where we see the villains um, Theory 11 do like to put out a lot of decks for a series and I imagine this license must have cost them some money so I suspect we'll see another deck maybe with villains 
um, maybe with different locations. You could easily make two or three decks out of the characters contained within. This doesn't seem specifically to follow one book or one movie rather. So again, they've got a lot to play with in this in this license here. So it's a nice deck of cards that works well, uh, just like every Theory 11 deck really. I think like I said before there, their licensed decks were all really, really fantastic in terms of detail and the things they put in them. I'm sure there's tons of details in these that I haven't seen. So again, I'll try and find some more. Maybe we'll do another video when the King's World Project version comes through, just to look at the differences between them and the artistic licenses they may have taken. So that's that deck. I've got this month at least one more video coming up. So uh, this is the Christmas deck of cards I'm going to do. Orbit Christmas. This is the 2021 edition. I haven't seen the, a newer version yet, but the pictures of this just look really cool, really fun. So quite looking forward to getting into that. And I might do it at the same time. This is the deck that I bought. Red Fox playing cards. I was just scrolling through and I saw them. And it's just something different this is on. So they come with a set of like old school 3D glasses if you like. With the red filters in. And there's a puzzle within here somewhere, so I don't know how well the camera's going to do all this, but we're, we're going to try and see what we can do. So thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Any likes and stuff like that. If you've made it this far, feel free to subscribe. I do really appreciate it. So I'll have them videos coming out soon. Thanks for watching. So the Ace of Clubs, I've had another look and I think where it says three for the elves, I think what this, this is depicting is the land of trees where the elves come from, or Valinor, their voyage over the Sundran Seas, and then they're rewarded with going back. And then I think this might be Rivendell, possibly, or another elven location. And I think that's what's going on there. Now it's supposed to feel.